good. That one's mine, and that one's mine, and that one's mine. This is Hillary. Hillary has trouble expressing her emotions on screen. This is Jamin. He has trouble fitting his face on the screen. They've quit their jobs and set out an attempt to cure their case of travel folk. We are about to head off to the airport for three months in Europe. Gonna get on a plane and head over. It's really happening! Gap year's really happening! Sorry about the wind here. They're in Oklahoma, where it really does sweep down the plants. Uh, pretty excited. About to get on the plane from Oklahoma City to Dallas, where we'll board a plane to London Heathrow. So, um, a lot to be in the air today, but excited about it. As you can see, Hillary just loves to be on camera. One red eye flight, six time zones, 150,000 American Airlines points later, the couple check in at the Lancaster Court Hotel which is different than the Lancaster Gate Hotel, which they walk to first. Hey guys. Warning to all you kids out there, if a creepy lady like this offers you candy, just run away. Come on in, we'll show you around. Also creepy. It is a charming little hotel. It's a tiny little room, but it's kind of all you need, especially for a couple nights. We are just here in London for a couple nights. One of the things that they really like about this place, and they just kept telling us about the bed, so. This is the bed. I want to make sure and point the bed out. They only um, have this bed for their Airbnb guests. The thing that's pretty cool about it is it's got moats. Wait for it. Wait for it, guys. Wait for it. <laughs> I don't know what that looks like on your end, but it feels great. <laughs> yeah, still creepy. They provide great service, so we do want to say that. Make sure to subscribe here to hear how this very shower attacked Hillary in the next episode. Our hotel room here at Lancaster Court Hotel cost us about $108 a night. That is really good. That's American dollars, not pounds, and um, really affordable, which is exactly in our budget. We also really liked the location. We wanted to be close to Hyde Park and St. James Park because we wanted to be able to run throughout those parks in the morning. After a poor attempt to document their own, Jamin and Hillary set out to explore the city. London's famous landmarks, Tower Bridge. Uh, you might think that this is London Bridge, but it's not. London Bridge is a different place. This is Tower Bridge. It's right next to the Tower of London, which uh, we went and toured last time. If you go back to the very first episode of our podcast, we talk about it. The crown jewels are housed there and just so much history is there. One of my favorite places in London is the Tower of London. Um, it's such an amazing place to tour. If you, if you come to London, you have to do it. Ah, here's a close-up Jamie never wanted. Behind me, you can see Big Ben, or uh, Elizabeth Tower as it is officially named. Um, along with the Palace of Westminster, which is where Parliament meets. The last time we were in London, it was actually under construction, so it was all covered up, and I didn't get to see it, so I was really excited to see it this time. Um, it's all kind of right here by Westminster Abbey, so if you come to this area, the Churchill War Rooms are really close, there's a lot of monuments around, this is definitely a must-see in London. He probably read about it in a book. Hillary has a less historical take on Big Ben. I don't know if you've ever seen Peter Pan by Walt Disney. Um, it's a pretty great cartoon. And they go flying around Big Ben and they land on one of the, the hands of the clock. Okay, so last night was our first night in London. And one of the things that we did that I thought was so cool, never done it before, we went to Westminster Abbey and we went for a prayer service. Jamin and I are gonna try to find different cathedrals where we can go to church while we're here because our faith means a lot to us. And so this was the first one, Westminster Abbey. What a great way to start it. at Borough Market. We found it last time we were here. We're really excited to come back. All kinds of food, uh, fresh produce, street food, a bunch of stuff like that, uh, bakeries, uh, a lot of places that sell like stuff like cheese, things like that. Uh, we're really excited to show it to you, so come on. So I went to 
pie minster and got the moo and blue pie. So it's supposed to be beef, kind of a traditional pie, so we'll try it out. <laughs> That's a heck of a bite. It's good. It's really good. They're not really warm anymore, which the guys said they weren't. So that would help, but it's good, very savory. The crust is great. Cold meat under a bridge sounds delish. food. Um, this is from a little place called Salt Beef and we asked them to make it for us however they normally make it. So we're just going to try it whatever they recommend. So it's got pickles on there. Um, I think it might be sweet. I can't tell. Um, and then there's mustard and then there is um, some of this meat. You can see it looks really good. Is it corned beef? Okay, I think it's corned beef. And it's on a bagel. You can get also get it on bread. And just a reminder, we are under a bridge, so you can hear some of these noises. Those are little, I think, trains. Yeah, trains up above us. So it's crazy. Okay, here we go. That's a lot of meat. It's really good. And the pickle is sweet. It's really, really good. You're gonna to wanna to try this, Jamin. It's really good. Yeah, it's really good. It's got a little bit of crunch on top. Take the middle. Very good. The cheesecake is kind of sweet, but not too sweet. It's still got that like cheesy flavor to it. It's got a little bit of crunch on top. I think that's almonds. I got um, a brownie, tahini, vegan brownie. It looks amazing. Look how gooey this thing is. It's gonna be really messy, and I'm really looking forward to it. the best thing I've ever had at Burma. Oh <laughs> it's so good. But look at that, it's like hardly been cooked. My mom would just be like so worried for me. Salmonella. I love you, mom. I'm gonna eat it anyway. <laughs> Not to worry, mom. Vegan means no eggs. We are about to do afternoon tea on a double-decker bus. Jamin and Hillary continue to eat their way through the city of London. To hear all the juicy bits about their time here, tune in to the Travel FOMO podcast. And thank you for subscribing here to see what's on the menu when they turn up in Bath, England.